Hi, you might have seen the other video. This is a different video. This is about me um, and the transition. Yes, yes, transition. You heard it correctly. <sighs> right, transition took place in 2016, as you probably know if you're looking at this channel, right? You might not know. Anyway, it did. Um, and if that has put you right off, they'll bugger off because it doesn't bother me in the slightest. If you really don't like me, don't bloody watch, okay? If you really don't like transgust, don't bloody watch, okay? You've got that one? Lovely. There. Okay? Right, so... <laughs> different subject. Um, 2016, I had my operation um, and it didn't go fantastically. Um, had problems with urinary issues oh you won't like this will you i don't like it either believe me um i had several operations meatus operations and uh that was awful it didn't work uh i then ended up with um almost a constant string of urinary infections which is possibly something you anti-trans scum would like to hear um and then uh oh i don't know it just got on, it was worse and worse, COVID hit, and I just decided, people in Blackpool, I mean, bless their hearts, they're trying their hardest to get something sorted out, but then I didn't want to go into, um, into hospital in Blackpool when everybody was suffering from COVID, and at the time, Blackpool was really heavily covid -ed. So I moved down to Bristol. Ha! <laughs> what do you think happened then? Yes, Bristol became incredibly COVIDed because all the lovely students went back. Fantastic. So then I stayed in, kept out of the way until Boris screwed up various bloody things that he did. Um, and he still do. He, well, he did still do. And still trust is absolutely mate, complete balls up bloody everything in the world. Um... Oh, maybe if rich people, and I'm not a rich person, uh, would think that she's not making her balls up. Well, she bloody well is. Dreadful woman. Um, Starmer's not much better because he doesn't want to go back into Europe. Well, what's the point of that? Seriously, there are, what, over 49, 50, 50% 50 of the population would, if given the bloody choice, get back into Europe tomorrow. Okay. Stop talking about Europe because it's the one thing that really gets me going. Really does. It's, it's like, why the hell did this stupid country want to be out of bloody Europe? It means I can't go to Spain. It means I can't go to Italy. I go through all these ridiculous checkpoints and stuff. No. What's the logic of it? Why? We've got worse food, more expensive um, food prices. Um... Worst pensions in Europe. Worst pensions in Europe. Remember that one. And who voted for the worst pensions in Europe? Oh, yes, all the old people. Shows you that the British have no sense. No sense. They spend 10 days mourning a monarch who was there for a long time. OK, I'll accept that. She, yeah, Queen Elizabeth II was there for a long time. But at the end of the day, Queen Elizabeth is a monarch. OK. So she was born to rule. Okay? Nice, huh? Nice job if you can get it. Not everybody can. We don't go around worshipping the fact that she was so bloody privileged as to enter the body of somebody that was de uh, destined to um, run the country. It's absolutely absurd. Anyway, that's the fact. And... Um, then everybody seems to make the country ground to a halt. Uh, why was that? What's the point of it? What was the point of that? We talk about economic progress in this country. It's not going to happen. We are the lowest in terms of um, economic productivity in the, in the whole of Europe. Um, it's a joke. These people have to go. That's all I can say. Anyway, I've digressed.